Hello and welcome again to Off the Beaten Tracks. Going to try something a little different today. This is for uh, people who are just beginning to collect records, perhaps not for the avid uh, man like myself who has uh, had a million albums over a million years. Uh, but I want to talk about the bins when you're starting out and you're acquiring a collection. Uh, music discovery is is a good thing. And when I was a young lad, I used to collect uh, cheapies, which are records that were uh, under the regular price. And when I was collecting records, the regular price was around four or five dollars for a full priced album. Nowadays, they're 35, 40 bucks. So I think the dollar bins are even more important uh, for discovering music than ever, especially for people who like classic rock and, and uh, types of music, folk, and things like that, because there's so much out there, and you can pick it up for relative, I'm going to, I have a bunch of albums here, I was there yesterday, these were all picked up in one day, these are all mint, uh, near mint to mint minus copies, that's what I buy, uh, I have, uh, I'm very open-minded about the kind of selection, even though these are all within a certain uh, per musical parameters, but if they're in good shape, then I'm more than likely to pick them up. But uh, you can pick up stuff like this. Now, this is Nicolette Larson. She was Neil Young's backup singer. Uh, had a song herself uh, from Neil that Neil wrote, uh, Going to Take a Lot of Love. Hit for her in the 70s. Now, you can pick up Joan I'm Returning for a Dollar. Here's one of her albums. Here's another one. Now, she's put out well over a dozen albums. There isn't a single album Joan ever put out her worst album is worth more than a dollar, worth more than five dollars. She's a wonderful artist. I, I believe I bought Walk Under Ladders for um, a dollar. Brilliant album. The Key, all those albums. You can't go wrong with Joan Armour Trading. Brilliant rock and a great guitarist. If you like folk, this is... Um, Judy Collins, Sweet Judy Blue Eyes was written about her. She has hundreds of albums out. And again, a dollar. All kinds of her albums are there. Now, you can go into the store and through the dollar bins, one of the things you got to worry about is condition. To me, condition is everything. And it's got to be at least mint minus before I'll pick it up. I've broken my heart any number of times with albums I really wanted and they just weren't in good enough shape. But one of the things you do find is they're constantly turning over these things. So you may see an album 12 times, and every single time that copy of that album is trashed. The 13th time, it's a gorgeous copy. So do not be dissuaded, no matter what the album is, because you know generally there are certain albums you know are going to be trashed, but occasionally there are exceptions. Uh, this is Stephen Bishop. This was uh, one of his big hit albums. Again, a dollar. Had one or two hits on it. Uh, Go West, I think this is an EP. These guys back in, oh God, uh, late 80s were all over MTV. They had a couple of videos. Not a big fan of this band. You might be though. Even I picked it up for a dollar. This guy was huge in the late 70s. A uh, bit of a history. I've got two of his albums, a dollar each. Jerry Rafferty started out in the Humble Bums with Billy Connolly, the comedian. Uh, then he formed um, Steeler's Wheels and had a huge hit with um, Stuck in the Middle with You. And then went on to have uh, any number of big hits uh, from these albums. And they can all be got for a dollar. I've got a number of uh, Linda Ronstadt albums. She was, you couldn't get a bigger star than her in probably the late 70s, early 80s. This is on the Pickwick label. Uh, so this is kind of a discount. I happen to like the Pickwick label. I, it's just one of those things uh, I pick up. But there are hundreds of her albums in the uh, dollar bins. Again, a lot of them are trashed. You have to look and look and look, but a bit, you know, one day you'll walk in there and there'll be a great copy and you'll go, hey, I just got that for a dollar. Moon Martin, uh, kind of a uh, rockin' new wavy kind of guy. Um, if you like that kind of music, I think he wrote uh, rock and roll uh, pneumonia and the boogie we flew, if I'm not mistaken. 
Fergal Sharkey had a huge song, uh, song with A Good Heart Is Hard To Find. That's on this album. He was with The Undertones, got kind of a raspy, unusual voice. But again, good album, a dollar. Kingston Trio, greatest hit. Is this the greatest hits? Yes, the best of, a dollar. Beautiful shape. Again, I've been through a ton of these albums. A lot of them are trashed. This one isn't. Paul Young had a big song. It's probably not on this album, but he was a big deal in England. A dollar. Going into the second group, Bobby Bear, one of the great uh, singer-songwriters from the uh, early 60s in the country and western vein. Dan Fogelberg uh, was huge, and this is um, this is his greatest hits, and he had a number of them from the like late seventies, early eighties, folk rock kind of a guy. Marty Ballin, well, he played with um, Jefferson Starship, and I think he had a couple of solo. Could be a hit on that album. I don't know yet. Now these guys. Uh, this is Jules and the Polar Bears. This is Jules Shear from uh, any, uh, just dozens of albums. In fact, I picked up for a dollar in the same day. I picked up this. This is a really good album. That's a good album, which is more new wavy. Uh, this was in the 80s, and it suffers a tiny bit from um, that 80s production, the Fairlight uh, keyboards and things like that. But the songs on this are rock solid, and God, it's worth a dollar. Parachute Club, this had a big, big hit on it. Canadian band, I'm partial to Canadians. Uh, again, a dollar. One of the big guys in the country folk movement, Tom Rush. I think this is one of his early albums. Could be his earliest album. I don't know. Haven't looked into it yet. A dollar. Now, here's a prime example. These are all over the dollar bins. Uh, all kinds of logins in Messina. They're always, always trashed. This one wasn't. I mean, I can't tell you. You Even I, with my perseverance, almost didn't look at this, but thought, I'll give it a shot. And son of a gun, if it wasn't a half-decent album inside. Glenn Frey from the Eagles, huge hits in the early um, in the early 80s. If you like uh, rockin' from the Rust Belt, uh, this is uh, Southside Johnny, who is uh, has a close affiliation with Bruce Springsteen. Uh, another uh, Iron House Rockers, another one of those kind of, if you like that, factory town kind of rocker. This is a great band for you. Speaking of Springsteen, this is Springsteen's lead guitarist, was also in um, Smile and has a number of solo albums. Cry Tough, got a, got a couple of good songs, amazing guitar player, a dollar. Greg Lake from Emerson, Lake and Palmer. This is one of his later albums, a dollar. Patty Smith had some, uh, or Smith with a Y, as opposed to Patty Smith, uh, the punker. Uh, this, you could, you'd have to tell me, I didn't follow this kind of stuff, but it was an honor. She did have some hits. Uh, Canadian again. This is Martha and the Muffins when they became Eminem. I have no idea why they did that. This is Mystery Walk. Uh, always good for a few tunes. Martha and the Muffins, great band. Alan Price. From the animals, a dollar, priceless. See, right there, priceless. I got it for a dollar. Uh, Donny Iris. I have two Donny Iris. I picked up. I got this one, and I got this one. Now, Donny, I think this one has the hit on. I'm not positive. Donny Iris was in. Um, I think it was called Wild Cherry, and they had a big hit with "Play That Funky Music, White Boy." I guess he was the white boy. And then uh, became a solo artist, uh, had a, a, a medium hit uh, in the kind of uh, new wavy, light rocky vein. And last but not least today is the Brandos. Now they are kind of a, uh, they were kind of a um, American roots rocker band. There were several bands that I was going to mention. Uh, a lot of them out of the kind of like the Boston, New England area that did this kind of music. And I realized I couldn't remember who they were. So the Brandos, at least, you can get for a dollar. So that's the kind of stuff. For this probably, I don't know, 25, 30 ounce for, this, for the price of one album, you could have a, uh, a whole array of stuff. To, and not spend a bunch of money to find out the kind of stuff you like. Do I like Linda Ronstadt? 
I'll find out, then I can buy her up. And again, you can buy some of those other albums for a dollar. So that's my preaching for today. I hope this was instructive and not too crazy. Thank you.